we have the authority of a believer. Yeah. I was believing that. And I was teach on understanding the authority of a believer. Mm. And normally what I, the example that I use back here is um, an example of a traffic officer. Traffic officers, uh, these guys sometimes will mount up a checkpoint on the road. Yeah. Okay. And they'll, they have this uniform which says Zambia Police or Road Traffic and Safety Agency, which are the most feared in our country by drivers and the most effective, by the way. So they wear this uniform for Road Transport and Safety Agency. And because of the uniform they are putting on, they have authority. Yeah. That's what gives them authority. If they went on that checkpoint putting on this maroon T-shirt and putting on in black jeans and try to stop a 16-wheeler, it will not stop. Right. Because they're not operating in their authority. Yeah. But the moment they put on that uniform and stand on the road and mount this checkpoint and lift up their hand, the 16-wheeler driver is not obeying necessarily the person, but the mm -hmm. authority that they are representing on the road. And that's how it is with us as believers. And I tell people, you can walk in an environment which is demon-infested. Mm. And the demons will respond. Let me share this with you. <laughs> what this, this happened to me, a, a short one, uh, just to emphasize this yeah. authority that we have. Yeah. I was traveling from the eastern part of Zambia to Lusaka. That's about 570 Ks. Um, and, um, very early in the morning, I had my moment of prayer, then rushed to the bus station and jumped on the bus. I was like one of the last passengers to get on the bus. So I get, I get on this bus. It was, it had, it had no entertainment, nothing. So I sat there, bored, you know, for a while. Then I decided, why don't I start reading a book? So I put out a book and started reading it. It was a book by some a South African politician. Then I, I got bored again, put the book away. What am I going to read? Then I remembered I had a small pocket-sized New Testament Bible. Mm. So I put it out and began to read it. I was sitting next to the aisle, mm -hmm. okay? And there was a lady, not directly opposite, but behind. Yeah. Okay? So I needed to twist a bit to look at her. Yeah. We had only driven for like 30 minutes. So I'm reading my Bible, and I just want to scan around and see who's on the bus. So I turn and look at her. And she screams. Oh. Then I look away. Wow. And we drive for two, three minutes and I'm bothered. What happened? So I turn again and look at her and she screams for the second time. <laughs> oh my gosh. Now, I was a little bit younger then. And like I told you, I used to get very excited with exercising spiritual authority, sometimes with a lack of wisdom. Yeah. <laughs> when you're just beginning to experience these things. So now I said, every time I look at her, she's screaming every time. So I'm going to look at her and fix my gaze on her. Yeah. So that's what I did. So now I literally turned and looked at her like this. And she started screaming, throwing herself around. Oh, wow. Jumped off her seat and was trying now to get under the seat of the bus. And this was a big woman, by wow. the way. She's really trying to force herself to get under the seat of that bus. Wow. So the driver stops the bus and everybody comes now. Is wondering, they are wondering what's going on. And I'm just looking at her because I know I'm responsible <laughs> for that commotion. <laughs> and she's screaming and rolling on the floor and everything. So with my hands literally like this, I say, in the name of Jesus, I command you to shut up. Wait, say that a little louder because so I don't I know. So I said, in the name of Jesus, yeah. I command you to shut up. Yeah. And the moment I said shut up, she was screaming. Ah, ah, this just went up. Wow. Got up yeah. and sat on the chair. Wow. So the daughter asks her, what happened? He said, there's somebody on this bus who's not okay. That's what she <laughs> said. Somebody on this bus is not okay. Huh. So I said, for the sake of us moving, I will not look at her. Yeah. So we drove um, all the way from the east to Lusaka, that's 570 kilometers. I got off the bus and I was proceeding to the to another city in Zambia. So I went to board this bus and I'm told it's full. So wait for the next one. So I said, fine. So I got on this bus, which was the next one. 
sat by the door. So from Lusaka to Ndola, Ndola is like 350 kilometers from here. Uh, so I got on this bus. I was the first passenger. First, first passenger. I sat right by the door with my bag on my laps. Guess who comes to the bus? The same woman. Oh, wow. So she came and put her foot onto the first step and went like, ah! and went back. So now the, the, the guys that work at the station and the bus owners like, this is the next bus to Ndola. She refused to get on it. Wow. She said, I'll wait for the next one. Wow. But that just shows you the authority that we have as believers, that we can literally walk in an environment and demons just begin to respond without saying anything. Wow. That's why when Jesus went to um, the, what is a place called, where he found the demoniac, mm. who upon seeing Jesus screamed, what do you want with mm. us, Jesus, yeah. son of yeah. Son of God. The the demons were able to recognize Jesus even before he said anything. Yeah. They were able to recognize him. That's the authority of a belief. Yeah. Yeah. I I think it must have to do with you soaking yourself in prayer so yeah. much. <laughs> yeah. It has everything to do with um with that. It has everything to do with soaking yourself in prayer, carrying the presence of God, but also being aware. Mm. And I think that's where we miss it as, as children of God. Hmm. The awareness. Yeah. One of the things that made a difference in the ministry and the life of Jesus Christ was his awareness hmm. of the presence of the Father with him. Hmm. That made a huge difference. Just hmm. his awareness that the Father was with him. Wow. Just that. Yeah. And we need to be aware. That has happened to me twice, actually. Hmm. What I just shared with you. Wow. Twice. Yeah. Very cool. Long distance trip and local trips. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Mm -hmm. Huh. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks so. for sharing. I, we'll start another one. Yeah, sure. <laughs> There's more to come.